you're looking at Singapore's top everything. <laughs> Pretty Please and today I'm here to create my signature Pretty Please look. I'll show you how to transform from this to this. So I'm going to begin my routine and first I start with primer because I'm supposed to, okay? And it smells like lavender. It makes me really happy, guys. Uh, okay, so next up, foundation. I use Fenty Beauty because Rihanna uses Fenty Beauty. <laughs> so I actually use Fenty because it's actually really good. Rihanna just really knows her stuff, man. Like, this woman is so smart. She knows exactly what the consumers want. She's given me everything I've wanted. So now I'm going to conceal all the mistakes on my face. I like to draw some fun things sometimes because why not, you know? Express yourself. So let me draw a P. Yeah, I usually just conceal my dark spots under eyes mainly and, and I'm good to go because I think that's the main like thing on my face that needs help. Being a brown girl, that's great for me lah because brands like Fenty, like dropping 40 shades at once, you know, that's amazing because this is a global thing. Everywhere in the world, you know, someone needs this shade somewhere. Okay, now I'm going to draw my brows. I'm the worst at brows. This is the step I hate the most, but I just do because my brows really need to be filled up lah. If not, I will skip it. In person, right, like, I've gotten like so many people say to me like, oh my gosh, you're so quiet in real life, I didn't expect you to be so nice. I must clarify that because it is me. It's still, it's still me that's like, all the aspects of Pretty Please is pretty Naya, but it is a million times exaggerated. So relax, okay? I'm actually gonna be nice. And then now, because the product has two sides, I'm just gonna use the other side because... Might as well, right? So what's next is eyeshadow. It's my favorite part of the makeup routine. This is where I add a pop of colour in my life for once. And I'm using this Tatis Pro Remix. Okay, I'm going to use this shade. It's called Graffiti. Because <laughs> I'm about to vandalise my face. <laughs> Can you see it? <laughs> yeah, okay, put it on the outer corners of your eye because... Yeah, I don't know, just start from outside. Lah. I got it for my Chinese O-levels. I'm very proud of it. Yeah, I think the only time I ever use Mandarin not for videos would be at the hawker center or like trying to order something or saying like Uncle T Fun, you know that kind of thing. So that is probably my favorite phrase because my favorite local dish is chicken rice. <laughs> so now I'm gonna use this shade. It's called maybe this one is there. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm gonna use this one. It's called Mic Drop. It's like a coppery. I don't know lah. It's like bronze. Yes, bronze. It's the transition shade. Oh, it looks. It's so seamlessly done. Eh? You would think I'm a professional. And you'll be right. <laughs> so now I'm going to do my inner corners of my lid and I'm going to use this chrome paint from Tarte. I'm done with my eyeshadow. It's eyeliner time and I'm also using Tarte, so clearly I am a fan la, <laughs> of the brand. <laughs> Let's do this. Then you use the other side of this eyeliner. <laughs> I got cross eye for a bit. Okay, then you draw yeah, the inner corners of your under eye. Because I'm really daring and I use all these like pigmented colours, there's a lot of fallout on my face right now, so this means I gotta conceal my face again, guys. <laughs> so it's okay, concealer can be your first step, but also your 27th step, you know? It's fine. My brother has been doing music for like over a year, but I only started in October when I dropped Thick. But our first song together was called Wuru and it came out in December. So it's a song that's like very close to our hearts like, because we kind of talked about like our childhood and like our family for a bit. So in the song we say things like, they say we descended from money changes, but I know this money will never change us. Fame is never going to change me or my brother or like what we do is never going to affect our relationship because we are each other's day ones. Now it's time for setting powder. <laughs> I'm not going to bake it like what Kim Kardashian says because the only baking I know is in the kitchen, okay? So, I'm just going to put it here and I'm just going <laughs> to like pat it out or whatever. Okay, next up is blush and I'm going to use this very cute blush from Shiseido. I use yet again my beauty blender. <laughs> so as you can tell, right, this was initially yellow lah. Yeah, I use it for everything. This one's pink, so I use this for the blush. So. I'm just shy. Am I shy or did I just use this whipped powder blush? You'll never know. Anyways, what makes me blush? Big money man for sure. That's like a given. That's like a... Yeah, yeah, I don't need to wear blush on if I go out and then see the come in. So that my kind of man can spot me in a club, I put on highlight. I use this Urban Decay one which is really, really used up. I'm using the middle one, obviously. It is like a white gold kind of one. Just use whatever looks good, okay? And be happy. Wow! I also highlight my brow bone because I can kind of conceal all my mistakes I've made by using like bright copperish colours that you see on my eyes. Yeah. 
So next up is contour and I don't use like an actual contour palette because there's so many brown shades in an eyeshadow palette, I just use the contour. So just use a bit. It's a dangerous space, I tell you first. It's like if you put too much, you're gonna be upset. I'm just gonna use my fingers and blend it out because if I don't, I'll ruin my makeup. So before I put on lipstick, I always put on like a lip balm because I have extremely dry lips. So this one's from Fresh. Okay, I'm using my current favourite lipstick, which is from Fenty, and the shade is Unlocked. I really hope this one was called Unattached or Unavailable, but it's Unlocked. My last step is mascara, because I just hope it goes on fine and then I'm done with my makeup look. I like to be very upfront about things, so I don't like it when people waste my time. If I actually make time and I go out on a date with you, I'm not going to be here to like hope that you might want to keep dating me and let's see where this goes. Doing that to yourself, and if you do that so often, it's so painful. Well, I've been single for 25 years, so I think I give the best dating advice. <laughs> So I'm done with my makeup look and <laughs> honestly guys, I was just wilding throughout this whole video but it looks so good. So let me know in the comments what you think even though it doesn't matter at all. <laughs> and I'll see you when I see you. Bye!